Hey guys, this is DeFacto, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to run your emulated games through Steam. Now, since Pokemon Go's come out, I've noticed a massive surge in popularity for the older games like Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green, or Colosseum and XD. So I'm just going to show you guys how to run those through Steam so they look something like this. Now, a little disclaimer, I don't condone piracy. I legally dump these games using the official cartridges and discs, so you're going to want to do the same thing. With that out of the way, let's get right into it. You're only going to need one program besides the actual emulator program, that's called Slimbat to EXE. Once you have that downloaded, throw it into the folder where you have your other games. The next thing you want to do is open up a fresh notepad and paste in the file directory for the emulator itself. So in this case, I'm using Visual Boy Advance. So you're going to want to go up into your Explorer address bar, select everything here and copy. Hit paste, and then add another forward slash to it. Then once you're done that, you're going to want to hit rename on Visual Boy Advance and copy the whole thing and paste that in as well. Once you have that there, you can hit space, add a quotation mark, and you're going to do the same thing except for the game file. So just copy it from the address bar, add a forward slash, and then rename the game, copy the whole path, and paste it in. Add another quotation mark, and that's pretty much all the work you're going to need to do on Notepad. Once you've done that, make sure you name it the game you want, not Pokemon, Pokemon, Pokemon Fire Red dot BAT. This is the most important part because that turns the text file into a batch file. So once you're done that, hit paste. And just to do a little test, you can double click it to see if it launches Pokemon. Of course it did, so we're good to keep going. Once you're done that, you're going to open up Slimbat to EXE and hit Express. Once you've done that, you hit the batch file you just made, and it should generate an executable file. You can test it again, see that it works, and now you're good to add it to Steam. My Steam is skinned, so it's going to be a little different from you. It's going to be in the bottom left for you, mine's in the top left. You're going to want to add a non-Steam game to my library. Hit Browse and then find the executable file you just created. Once you're done that, hit add selected games. And you're good to go. There's Pokemon Fire Red. Um, I like to go a bit further and go to this website. And then all you have to do is type in the game you want. Save the image. Uh, I have a dedicated folder for these as well. And then you just save the file. Right click the grid icon. Hit set custom image, browse. And navigate to where you saved that picture. And you're done. That's pretty much it. It's a little bit different for other emulators, but all you have to do is search on Google. The emulator that you're running will run games using command line, and it should give you the commands that you need to paste into the notepad to generate your batch file. Uh, like the video if you enjoyed, and feel free to leave a comment if you have any suggestions for a future video. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.